And the answers are here as we see the girls take the journey you did, mm -hmm. Melanie. Uh, the pain is all there. I, what, you know what is most important from my perspective? We're telling our young women that despite the pressure, and the girls talk about it, sex is part of the, the equation now. Mm -hmm. It is the done thing. And even our girls in church are, are buying into it. We get to see pretty graphically what happens when you compromise? What happens to your self-esteem? Mm -hmm. Where does the thinking go? Uh, it's, it's, it's horrifying. And yet we see these same girls. They're all victors. They've come mm -hmm. through. How did you find them, Mike? We had a lot of help. Um, uh, the producers that helped me produce this uh, basically went out and sought these, these girls out. Um, we had some folks in Arizona who helped us. Um, and, and literally, I had no idea um, who we were going to get. You know, my, my prayer was, just bring the right ones, mm -hmm. you know. And, um, you know, when you do an interview, you know, I've done so many interviews, and you get to a point in the interview where the girls actually then become comfortable with you, and they really then open up. And so each interview that I did was anywhere between a half hour to an hour. Um, and it went, when it hit about that 15, 20 minute mark, man, the floodgates opened, mm. you know. And what was really cool was is that a lot of the girls were saying, you know what, the, the, there are things that I deal with, but you know what, I have hope. You know, I, there is hope out there. I, I just need to find it or I have found it. And the other thing that was really interesting was they said, I wish my parents would talk to me more. Mm. You know, parents sometimes say, well, I don't know how to talk to my children, or maybe I just shouldn't talk to them, or I don't know how to engage them. And they were like, we just want our parents to talk to us. They just have be so many questions. Yeah. They have so much. Parents, we, we just have been talking about this this week. Parents are the biggest influencers. No doubt. Without question. But because the kids don't communicate, I want you. <laughs> I even want to say more than one or two words to you. Yep. We, we write ourselves off. We've got to turn around. We've got to engage. And you know, another strong truth that Yellow Roses portrays is the deadly power of a dark secret. And I said to you, Mike, before the program, I've seen women in their 70s and 80s who unpack something they've never told anyone. It has affected their whole life. And I think if they sit and listen to these girls and see what happens, when they find, I mean, the girls themselves say, find a trusted friend, tell somebody. Because it is, you've heard it said, we're, we're only as sick as our deepest secret. Mm -hmm. We have got to get it out, and then we've got to take it to the one who can restore. Mm -hmm. That's your experience, Melanie. Amen. And that's exactly what the devil wants, is for us to be in shackles. He wants us too, um, because if he can prevent us from being the best for God, then he's won. He has and won. that's exactly it. And so I'll tell you what, when I start to feel that way, I just remember when, even when Jesus was tempted, he even said, get behind me, Satan. And I think when I yell that even out loud, I verbally say that, it's amazing how quickly he flees mm -hmm. from you. So that is exactly, I think with young women, they need to be aware that Satan is He's fighting for our souls. We need to know that there's an enemy and we need to recognize that um, because that is what the battle is all about. It's not against flesh and blood, but it's against, it's a spiritual warfare. It is, and a cultural agenda that is so powerful, but we know who's more powerful. Amen. And this is such a wonderful tool. Now here's what I wanna know. How are we gonna get this to people? <laughs> Well, if you want to get buy the film, uh, you can go to yellowrosesfilm.com. Uh, you can purchase the film there. Um, we're working on right now, um, which we've just completed, a curriculum series. So there's a, an eight-week video teaching series that we've developed along with a 60-page workbook and discussion guide for leaders. Um, there's a journal. There's also a soundtrack that goes with the film. Yeah, there are songs. <laughs> yeah. Songs in there. So it's all going to be packaged together. Um, and we're working on pitching it to distributors in the next couple months and it should be available hopefully this summer or fall um, wherever you buy books or, or resources for your church. This is great. Thank you so much.
to you both, to all the people who've made this possible, to the, to the girls. I'd like to hug every one of them. Mm -hmm. Some pretty <laughs> heavy stories in here. But great, great hope. You know what I'm doing tomorrow? What's that? I am going to a princess tea. <laughs> Hundreds of little girls. This is the third year we've done this. And uh, this will be the third year I'm going to look like this picture all day tomorrow because I'm going <laughs> to be the official blessing God mother. The blessing God mother. <laughs> and uh, I, you're familiar with this book, I Melanie. Know. Yes, it's a uh, beautiful book. Here's, here's what's meaningful. The little girls dress up like little Disney princesses and they just, of course, love that. A lot of the mothers and the grandmothers don't, but you can see when the story's read, mm -hmm how important it is for women of all ages to own mm -hmm. how precious they are in God's mm -hmm. sight. Yes. And I think I might use this blessing tomorrow. Can you take this to heart, women? My beautiful daughter, you are so beautiful to me. I wish for one moment that you could see what I see when I look at you. When I gaze at you, I see a treasure ready to be discovered a princess ready to shine, and a daughter ready to be loved. When I look at you, I love what I see. If you could grasp how beautiful you are in my eyes, then you would never feel insecure again. The beauty I created you to be is a reflection of me, my love. I created you in my image, so never doubt again that your eternal beauty is a breath of heaven. Love your adoring prince. And I hope you know that's Jesus speaking right to your heart. And if you're one of those broken princesses, we'd like to pray with you right now and, and help bring the hope that is eternal in him. Call the number on your screen for prayer and find yellow roses. Take the journey with these girls. It may be your path to a new beginning. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks for having us.